Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about implementation of queue operations using linked list. We can implement the queue operations by using the linked list. As we know that in linked list, the node always contains two values. One is data and another one is address field. And the last inserted node is always pointed by rear and the first node is always pointed by front in the queue. In linked list, the insertion and deletion of nodes are really easier. So there is no need to give initial size. And this is the advantage in linked list when compared to arrays. Because in arrays, we have to give initial size before creating a queue. As there is no initial size, or fixed size, we can insert any number of values in linked list. Now let's see the example. Here we are having three nodes and every node contains two values. One is data and another one is address field. The first node contains two values. One is one and another one is 200. 200 is the address of the next node. And the next node is, next node contains two values. One is two and another one is 500. It is the address of the next node. And the last node is with 3 and null. Every last node in the queue, can, the address field contains null value. Because as we know that the address field should contain the address of the next node. As it is the last node, the address value should be null. And the insertion takes place at the rear and the deletion takes place at the front. As it is follows first in first out mechanism, the first node is deleted first. Hello, Here is the program for implementation of queue operations using linked list. These two are the header files struct node into data struct node pointer next. Struct is used to combine the multiple items. Here node contains two, two values. One is data and another one is address. To combine these two values as one node struct is used. And this is a pointer symbol and it is used to store the address. One node is created successfully. Struct node front, struct node rear. These two nodes are created. Insertion takes place at the rear and deletion takes place at the front end. Void, NQ, DQ and display are the three queue operations. Int main, int choice, user have to choose the choice while, sorry, while choice not equal to 4 which means it executes up to 4 values or 4 choices and the 4 choices are insert, delete, display and exit. Printf queue operations using linked list. It just prints the queue operations using linked list and here these are the choices to the user. One is insert an element, second is delete an element, third is display the queue and fourth one exit. Printf enter your choice. User have to enter the choice. Switch of choice. Switch statement is used to test the case. And here the cases are case 1 NQ, case 2 DQ, case 3 display, case 4 exit. Here after every case break statement is used because Without break, the program continues to the next labeled statement. And the default statement is used for none of the statement in the switch body get executed. Be sorry, if user's choice is not equal to 4, by default it prints enter valid choice. This is about the choices. And next is void NQ, insertion operation struct node pointer in item one node is created and memory is allocated to that node if pointer equal to equal to null it states that overflow then we can't insert the node into it ptr equal to equal to null is false it jumps to lc statements and prints enter value value should be entered here the new node is ptr and every node contains two values, one is data and another one is address field. Here PTR of data equal to item, the value is inserted in the data. Data. If front equal to equal to null, it states that this is the first node entering into the queue. Then front equal to PTR and rear equal to PTR. 
for the first element in the queue the front and rear at the same end front of next is equal to null rear of next is equal to null as it is a single element present in the queue no address field is stored if the node is not the first node then front equal to equal to null is false then it jumps to rare sorry else statement rare of next equal to pointer and rare is equal to pointer which means the new node is at the place rare because we know that the insertion of nodes always takes place at the rare end so the newly inserted node is placed at rare rare of next equal to null if it is the last element inserted into the queue then the address field should be equal to null in this way the nodes are inserted into the queue by using linked list and next is void the queue this is the deletion operation struct node pointer it is a node if front equal to equal to null printf underflow the queue is empty then we can't delete the nodes from the queue because from the front end the elements are deleted from the queue if it is equal to the null means front equal to null it says that there is no nodes in the queue if front equal to equal to null it just prints underflow if it is false it jumps to else statement pointer equal to the delete sorry the deleting node should be equal to front then only we can delete from the queue free of pts successfully the node is deleted this can be done for deleting of any number of nodes this is the dq operation next is display traversing of nodes in the queue struct node pointer it is the node pointer equal to front if pointer e sorry front equal to equal to null it prints queue is empty and comes to else statement print of printing values it prints the values while of ptr not equal to null print of percentile d ptr of data ptr is equal to ptr of next it is about the node a node is displayed with its two values data and next all the remaining nodes are displayed by using display operation this is about the queue operations now let's see the output queue operations using linked list it just prints and gives the options like insert an element delete an element display the queue exit enter your choice user have to enter the choice i want to insert an element enter value i want to insert value the element is inserted again i want to insert the element so i choose one enter and i want to enter value 12 well, again i want to insert and the value is 11 now i want to delete so i choose option 2 enter now i want to display print it printing the values as 12 and 34 i inserted three values that is 34 12 and 11 as 34 is the first element it is removed first and the remaining elements are displayed here that is 12 and 11 it is displayed the order how i was inserted by using the insertion operation that is nq we have inserted three elements that is 34 12 and 11 and by using deletion operation i i have deleted 34 as it follows first in first out mechanism the first element is deleted first and by using display operation the remaining elements are displayed here 
and the address fields are not displayed because the address is stored by itself manually it stores and this is about the queue operations in queue day queue and display and if you want to exit then just enter option 4 then it will exit and this is the coding pro process for implementation of queue operations using linked list i think everyone understood thank you